Hi there, welcome to QA Box. Let's test. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. And if you like the video, give them the thumbs up. All right. So in the last video, we talked about variables and constants. With the help of variables and constant, we store data, we load data into the memory, and give the memory location some name. And those are called as variables or constants. Okay. We also briefly talked about what are the different primitive data types and you know how that this javascript programming language with the help of wrapper classes provide those additional methods to the primitive data types right and primitive data types are light and fast right and we also talked about constant we also saw the syntax to create variables and constant so a syntax is nothing it's a construct so a construct is simply a concept implementation mechanism used by a given programming language and hence we call that as language syntax pretty much like you know when we speak in english there is a grammar rule that we have to follow or write and now in this video we are going to talk about operators so what are operators so operators in computer programming are constructs defined within the programming language which behave generally like functions a functions are nothing they are set of instructions that are there in that one block code and every time we need to perform that action we just simply invoke those functions all right we don't write the same set of instructions again and again and we'll talk uh, more about functions in the upcoming videos but for now just see them as the inbuilt functions provided by the programming language to perform certain actions so these are some special symbols that tell the compiler or the interpreter to perform specific operations like you know mathematical relational logical and eventually produce the final result all right we have already seen one of the operator which was equal to in the previous video and we used it something like you know we said where is a keyword for creating a variable then a space and then the name of the variable and then we assign a value to that okay so what is this equal to so this equal to is nothing it's your assignment operator all right so this particular assignment operator is telling the interpreter of javascript right to perform specific operation and in this particular case the value on the right hand side has been given a symbol name which is name in this case all right with the help of this operator so in this video we are going to talk about arithmetic operators and baud mass so baud mass we all have heard about it in our school days right in other part of the world we use baud mass right and b stand for bracket this is order or your exponents or your power whatever you want to call it d stand for division m for multiplication and addition and subtraction so whenever we do mathematical operation this is the precedence that we have to follow okay but before we move on to that let's understand what are the different operators available to us okay so we say 3 plus 2 equal to 5 3 minus 2 is subtraction all right so use subtraction then you use 3 into 2 is 6 that's multiplication and you say 6 divided by 2 is 3 so you could see that for all these operator plus minus multiplication and division we have two operands one on its right one on its left okay so there is one more which is called as modulus which gives you the remainder so this is a good way of identifying whether a number is odd number or even number if a number is even number and you divide it by 2 and the symbol that we have to use is percentile you divide it by 2 you get 0 means it's an even number if you use an odd number and find the modulus of it you will get 1 okay so these are five different arithmetic operators they are two more increment and decrement let's check them out and let's say a is equal to 10 okay so we've assigned a value 10 to a variable a now they are pre-increment and post-increment and let's see that so what i'm doing is i'm doing a pre-increment so let's see the value and understand what we'll get so we get 11 
and now if I check the value a it's 11 so what happens in the pre increment the value is first incremented and assigned back to the variable all right and then we get that value right and let's see the other one so now the value of a is 11 and we say a plus plus and this time you would see the difference the value is 11 but pre in the previous case this is post increment in the pre increment the value was incremented in the same step but in the post increment first the value is assigned then it's incremented so if you do a now you get 12 that's the difference you could see in here pre increment first increments the value and then assign back but in this case it assigns the value and then incremented okay same is the case with pre decrement and post decrement so if i say pre decrement if i say a all right you could see that it's it's reduced to by one and if i say a now it is 11 and in case of post decrement a minus minus you see 11 all right but if you check the value now it's decremented all right so this is about arithmetic operator but there is one more interesting operator in here which is the addition operator so let's see one more thing we have been working in this video on the numbers but can i try this addition with a string let's try that so if i say this is how we declare a string we say test all right and we do plus and we say 12 all right and if i hit enter the strings are concatenated so if any of the operand is of type string right string gets the higher precedence and this plus operator has now concatenated these two numbers so this 12 is also converted into string first and then these two numbers are merged or concatenated and this is called as polymorphism so the same function right internally this plus operator is a function is it's an inbuilt function so it is showing you a different behavior depending upon what are the operands you know it is adapting when it sees numbers on both the sides right it just simply sum them but when one of the operand is of type string at least one of the operand is of type string it concatenates them okay that's called as polymorphism so that's about arithmetic operators in uh, javascript and you can also try this out right and we can do something like do okay you can say math and don't do hung up on this at this point of time and power two four and we say divide by two multiply by three plus four all right and if you do something like this so what is the order that would be followed so you could see that first we are going to execute this this power thing all right so this will be executed first all right the next thing that we have to do is division or multiplication they follow the same precedence so therefore whenever we do the execution and i'll open up this side to show you one thing in here so this is the table that you have to follow while performing any kind of operations because it talks about the operator precedence and the associativity so for some you will see left to right all right and for others you see right to left okay so this is very important if you are working on these operators make sure that you are clear on the precedence okay and so let's uh, move back to our example and here so this one will be executed whatever is the outcome of that that would be divided by this right then division then whatever is the outcome is multiplied by three and finally four so what, what you get back is 28 so that's about pod mass. okay thank you so much see you in the next video